Of course, I've prepared this father of the bride speech. <laughs> but I'd like to call it the time to let her go speech. <laughs> Don't do that on their piece. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes into the world and each of my daughters are already making their old man cry. Each one perfect. I'll probably pr cry again when we have a dance later on and then again when I get the bill for this place. <laughs> Scott and Haley, if you're ever lucky enough to be blessed with a daughter, and I hope you are, I know that you'll love, cherish and protect her just as every parent does, and when that happens, just remember Scott, your wife is our little girl. Don't do that. <laughs> Seriously. All through school, I tried to walk in Haley's footsteps. Um, however, no matter how hard I tried, uh, I, her shoes were always a little bit too big for me, figuratively. In real life, she has no toes and I have man feet. <laughs> <laughs> for example, uh, Haley got the lead role in a primary school play. I played percussion. <laughs> Haley did the hardest math class there was and I got to fry an egg in food tech. <laughs> Uh, Haley got school captain and year 12, and I applied and got some other bullshit role no one cared about. <laughs> Actually, has anybody here ever asked Haley for a solution on a problem? Because really annoying. She, she literally shot fires 15 ideas in a row and then she'll bring out a flow chart on the best option based on the surrounding variables and then you're like, just, I didn't need any of that. <laughs> it's, it's very annoying. <laughs> Speaking of Scott's one love, not his shed, Hayley. The smart, sassy and incredible woman that made the move from one side of the country for the, uh, to the other for a tall, weedy guy with short hair and listen to 6IX as his radio station of choice. <laughs> he now sits here, a Triple J fan that takes his wife's headband to keep the hair out of his eyes. <laughs> to Europe with Brooke and James did I actually start to worry. Uh, she was posting so many amazing photos on her Facebook of her European journeys and then all of a sudden um, photos of this tall dark haired ethnic boy started to pop up <laughs> and I thought oh, shit we've lost us to some European dude that doesn't speak a lick of English and I'm never going to see her again. Thankfully it was just Scott. <laughs> As I'm sure you all know by now, Scott and Haley met on a Kentucky holiday through Europe. With the glazed eyes, I looked at Scott and I said, is there something I should know about you and Haley?" Scott looks up at me, dizzy and slurring, and he says, you know what, she's just awesome. Easy going, good fun, awesome. That was the most sobering moment for me, and at that point, I knew it was more than likely that we'd all be here today. Welcome friends and family to the celebration of Haley and Scott's wedding today in this glorious, glorious town hall. Isn't it beautiful? I'm so excited to be standing here today about to marry these two gorgeous people. There's a pocket watching jacket on my shoulder. And I feel this way, time goes by and I keep on getting older I reach for gold to place my bed There is one thing I have, oh, and everybody that knows Scotty um, <laughs> He is very, very fussy with everything he does And today showed that, I can tell you 
So I appreciate it, but yeah, no more. And <laughs> um, we are both very proud of the man you have become and wish you a long life happiness with Hayley and along with Viv, my beautiful wife. Here's cheers. I couldn't mean it more when I say that you two truly are each other's perfect complement of the other and I couldn't be happier for you. Have you got the tissues? <laughs> Scott, you've truly won the best woman and I couldn't, uh, couldn't think of anyone more deserving of winning the love of my best friend than you. Hales, you truly are the most stunning, jaw-dropping bride. I always have and I always will look up to you. Keep leading the way with those tiny toes. <laughs> so many reasons why I love you and why you're my perfect match. You were the one who stops me <laughs> charging headlong into things without thinking rationally. <laughs> you were the one who makes me slow down and appreciate life. I promise to cherish your mind for all time. I promise to give you space to think things out. And I promise to listen to your good advice as often as I can. <sighs> I promise to be your best friend and biggest supporter. And above all, I promise to love you for the rest of my life. Yeah, I walked hundred miles in a day. I climbed the mound to stake my flag and I watched it fly away. See, heaven has no time for this man's crooked games or politics. It's a lover's war, a taker's gift, and it all gets washed away. And still I'm Waiting all along for you to cave in Admit that you were wrong for all you gave me I swear for all my pride you will follow me And I am here, I just keep waiting Waiting on to my new wife. <laughs> you've done such an amazing job setting this venue, this wedding up. You've done a lot and you couldn't have done a better job. Thank you. Thank you. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you together. <laughs>